everyone. I am Nayana Veer, a B.Tech Electronics and Communication student of Government Engineering College, Barton Hill. Today's talk talk session is on quantum computing. Coming to what we will discuss today. First, let us discuss what does the word quantum in quantum computing means. Here, it is the mechanics that the system uses to calculate output. In physics, quantum is the smallest discrete unit of any physical property. Now, coming to what is quantum computing? Quantum computing is an area of computing focused on developing computer technology based on the principle of quantum theory. It is a rapidly emerging technology that harnesses the law of quantum mechanics to solve problems too complex for classical computers. Here are some key points to remember about quantum computers. The most important point is quantum computers are made up of qubits. Qubit or quantum bit is the basic unit of information in a quantum computer. It has something, a particle or an electron, for example, that adapts two possible states. And while in superposition, the quantum computer and specially built algorithm harnesses the power of both these states. Now, let us look at history behind quantum computing, which is said to have begun in 1980 when Paul Benioff proposed the quantum mechanical modeling of Turing machine, which is a mathematical model of computation that defines an abstract machine that manipulates symbol on strip of tape according to a table of rules. Later, Richard Feynman and Yuri Manin proposed the concept of quantum computers followed by Peter Shore developing a quantum algorithm in 1984. In 1998, Isaac Chung, Gershenfeld, and Mark Kubinick created the first two-qubit quantum computer. In 2019, Google AI and NASA claimed to have performed quantum computation that was infeasible on any classical computer. Still, research is going on about the same. Now, let us compare quantum computers and classical computers. Classical computers are best for everyday tasks, whereas quantum computers perform complex tasks like running simulations and data analysis. Quantum computers run complex problems faster than classical computers. Quantum computers process information differently. Classical computers use transistors which are either 1 or 0. Quantum computers use qubits. Now, coming to features. There are two important features. The first one is superposition, in which quantum particles are seen as the combination of all possible states. They fluctuate until they are observed and measured. Entanglement is the next feature. It is basically the ability of quantum particles to create their measurement results with each other.
Now, coming to the working of a quantum computer. A quantum computer has three parts. An area that houses square bits which is kept at a temperature just about absolute zero. A method for transferring signals to the square bit and a classical computer to run the program and send instruction. Next is applications of quantum computing. First one is quantum simulation. Quantum computers work exceptionally well for modeling other quantum systems because they use quantum phenomena in their computation. This means that they can handle the complexity and ambiguity of systems that would overload classical computers. Examples of quantum systems that we can model include photosynthesis, superconductivity, and complex molecular formations. Cryptography. Classical cryptography, such as the Revest Shamir Adelman algorithm that is widely used to secure data transmission, relies on the intractability of problems such as integer factorization or discrete logarithms. Many of these problems can be solved more efficiently using quantum computers. Quantum machine learning. Machine learning on classical computers is revolutionizing the world of science and business. To speed up progress in this area, we are exploring ways to devise and implement quantum software that enables faster machine learning. Optimization. Optimization is the process of finding the best solution to a problem given its desired outcome and constraint. By running quantum inspired optimization algorithms on classical computers, we can find solutions that were previously impossible. This helps us find better ways to manage complex systems such as traffic flows, airplane gate assignments, package deliveries, and energy storage. Conclusion Quantum computing could be the solution to the challenges that are faced by quantum physicists. It has the power to change our fundamental understanding of reality and it could soon become a reality. What is more, quantum computing could also be able to replace laboratory experiments, reduce the cost of research and even minimize the need for human and animal testing. Quantum computers could bring huge potential benefits to the financial sector, from deeper analytics to new faster trading possibilities. Thank you.